has never been the same since he's left. Yeah. It really hasn't. You know? Anyway, we've got huh. probably eight minutes. What do you want to do? Oh. Sir. Thank you. Help. My pleasure. Um, I'm just recording on There was a, we had, there's an article in uh, Atlantic Magazine in the U.S. which was absolutely stunning. Uh, I, knew, I knew it was significant, but it was wild and crazy. The New York Times has 1,000 prints, 1 million print subscribers, and 20 million people are reading it online now. Wow. That's not surprising, right? I thought for an old media, I didn't realize that, that I mean, it, it, it isn't surprising that it's wildly, I would have thought they would, I would have, I would have thought, thought more likely of somebody like the Washington Post, frankly, than the New York Times. Well, the difference is, for example, people like me reading it, whereas traditionally right. we wouldn't have bothered, to right. be honest. Right. Oh, no, I think that's right. Yeah. I think that's where the exposure comes in. Suddenly, instead of being local media, it's global media. Right. I love that fact that 80% of your business comes from your blog, was it? Yeah. Was that yeah. a correct statement? Yeah. That is, I mean, uh, that's it the it was, It's the messy world, yeah. It yeah. Meaning, meaning that it yeah. is enhanced yeah. by the blog. Yeah. And when somebody is thinking, yeah of inviting me somewhere, yeah. and the, the fun stuff, which of course, you know, you know better than I, which was absolutely fabulous. I was giving a speech to uh, all the senior agents, general agents at Aetna, which is about a $40 billion business, for God's sakes, and I'm standing behind the stage getting ready to go out and talking to the, to the CEO, and you know, I, I know who does read the blog, but obviously I yeah. really have no idea who reads it. I don't think of yeah. people like that, and we're just standing there, and he said, God, I love your farm. I said, <laughs> and I, you know, I put pictures up there with some degree yeah. of regularity, but I, it's, um, I just absolutely live and die for that blog. I love it. So much fun. I, I would it get is. 80% of my business through yeah. my blog. Yeah. Basically, what I try and do is commit every day, 15 to 20 minutes, yeah. put out a post, make sure it's, I think there's two, two sides, you can go as a reporter, we just regurgitate other stuff right. and then put you know, 20% or you can be an expert and create new ideas and put those out. Right. So that's what I kind of lean towards, which I get the feeling you're trying to do with yours. Yeah, well no, I, I think, I, think uh, I mean, I completely agree with you. I, but I also think that just mixing it up, pace, style, time. I mean, the yeah. one thing I do, which is which you're not supposed to do, and I know that you're not supposed to do when I do it, but I don't care. When I, when I get in the mood, I write an essay that's 1,500 words and screw yeah. it. Yeah. And, yeah. and you and I and I know what's going to happen. You don't get many comments yeah. because you've kind of. I mean, the the thing that people love, and, I, and I'm not willing to go. I'm not willing to be a whore. Yeah. Because I know that if you make a two line comment like, uh, you know, anybody who eats a Krispy Kreme donut's the biggest <laughs> asshole in the world. You have yeah. the one problem that I have found, which is the the scariest is the wrong word. But no, it isn't. If if and of course we just went through the election. If you allow something to go political, yeah. then suddenly it flames and explodes and you can never get it back under control again. Because, you know, I have some pretty strong political views and I was very strong Obama supporter, yeah. uh, but for whatever reasons, you know, I mean, you, you do it and you just, it just it's, war, it's warfare <laughs> between the uh, 20 noisy members of your community yeah. and, and you, you, you lose your own blog. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I which I'm... Under some circumstances, I can imagine I would have would have done it, but yeah, yeah. but it's cool. It's the uh, and what I don't what I don't understand is at some level and in, in my world among those who are slightly gray, other other than other than Seth Godin, nobody does it. I mean, why? Yeah. The hell doesn't Michael Porter do it? Why isn't Jim yeah. Collins do it? Yeah. What, what's their problem? I mean, I, I just don't understand. I don't understand why I should be the one doing it. I mean, it's an yeah. incredibly old fart. And, uh, that, that's yeah. right. You leave opportunities for guys like us. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll take yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, I, think, I, think it, I just think it's a great... I don't feel like I am in any way, shape, or form a master of the new medium. Uh, but it's just, it's, it's terrific. I mean, the, the other old girl who's doing pretty reasonably well is Ariana Huffington. I, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I met her somewhere, and I, sa I said to her, I said, I'll never wash the hand. <laughs> oh, um, I work with a lot of tech startups in New Zealand, mm -hmm. so they're internet startups. Right. A lot of them, the majority would have started in the last 18 months. And I'm just wondering, from your perspective, what would you think would be the top three tips for them, given that they've only just started out, 
And they're still at that point where they could go, well, actually, if we quit now, you know, we've only lost a year and made $100,000. Well, what would be your tips for them, given they're not so established, to grow over the next 18 months? Well, it's not as easy to answer as it might be. Because if we were having this conversation in Silicon Valley, I would say that if you lost 100000 bucks and pulled in your horns, nobody would ever take you seriously again, even if you're 19. Yeah. Uh, it's a mark of honor, to, mark of honor to lose a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of, you know, were you serious? I mean, I think I'd say that to a New Zealander, more or less. I mean, you're either serious about the damned idea or you're not. Yeah. And if you're serious and serious enough to think you can change the world, then at some level you don't give a shit how much money of either your mothers, your uncles, your bankers, your dentist, you lose. Yeah. Because you know, because I, th I think if it's going to work, it's, it's, you know you're going to change the freaking world. There's no issue. I mean, statistically, yeah. you're not. <laughs> but, but I think that I think that's what I think that's what it takes to be, you know, to be a, a real entrepreneur. Not a real entrepreneur. It's such a stupid statement. Maybe we gotta just get there. There was my my even older than me friend Warren Bennis wrote something on leadership, and it was so fabulous. He said leaders don't want to be leaders. Leaders don't become leaders because they think it's cool to be a leader. They, they become a leader because they've got something they're desperate to say. And I think the same thing is true. I mean, can you, I, can't, I can't imagine waking up in the morning and wanting to be an entrepreneur. I can wa imagine waking up in the morning and, and seeing something that I think that Google is totally fucking up and <laughs> saying, you know, i got to fix this. Yeah. And, and that's the deal. It's, 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 uh, it's I won't call it goal-driven, but it's, well, well, my hypothesis in general, and, and maybe it is having lived too long in Silicon Valley, people write all these books on sources of innovation. Yeah. There's one source of innovation, in my opinion, pissed off people. <laughs> you can't take it anymore. Yeah. Just simply can't take it. Yeah, so they're motivated enough to just go, no. Yeah, so well, and, and, and my, my reason for set, my hypothesis is, that when you look a little deeper, that's a logical statement because anybody who's going to be an entrepreneur is going to take constant shit. Yeah. And if your passion is not greater than the power of the of yeah. the uh, you know the returning wave, yeah. then you're not going to get over. Great. Um, you always talk about thank you notes. What's the best thank you note you've received that made you go on? Because you're the person that's telling everyone to do it. So when you receive one, your bar must be a little bit higher. No, that's the point. You can, I mean, short of being President of the United States, Prime <laughs> Minister of New Zealand or something like that, it's like you can't get too many of them. It's, it's just that, it's that somebody took the trouble to do it. And, and that to me, you know, short, long, whatever, that is such a big deal. But uh, I know the nicest compliment I ever got in my life, which I never will forget. I love it. Let's hear <laughs> it, 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 it. It doesn't do well yeah. in audio, but, but I don't really care because this is a, you know, that, that media kind of thing. I was, do you know Peterbilt trucks? I don't know what your equivalent would be. Really, mo I mean, not monster trucks. Like, trucks. Yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're like Mac, they're, 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 yeah. even, they're higher end than Mac oh, trucks, yeah. but they're, they're sort of like so cool that the professionals who drive them act as if they were driving a museum piece uh, yeah. but and they're and they're tough solid trucks my I was given a speech to uh, Peter built dealers and we had a break and there was a guy who was one of their best dealers who was was looked like a Peter built truck yeah. and he yeah. comes and he puts his arm around me and wrapped it around about three times and he looked at me and he said you would have made one good fucking truck salesman yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it doesn't get any better than this. So we're gonna need to wrap the thing okay Thanks very much. My pleasure. Um, well, thanks for being here. This is cool. I mean, I, re I really, I really love it when. I mean, I just think this is so cool the way you guys.